I wish I could make reaction videos, but I was born in 1956. I've heard all these songs. What could I possibly react to? Hey whippersnappers, Brian here out of Boomer Reacts. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, thanks for checking me out. I listen to rap and hip hop songs using lyric videos, and then I let you know what I think about them. Um, so as you can see, I'm uh, going to be reacting to Slow Down by Brand Nubian. Um, and I, I kind of promised this last week, I did a reaction to Hip Hop by Dead Prez. And in their bio, I read that uh, Lord Jamar of Brand, <coughs> Brand Nubian discovered them. And when I read that, it reminded me, I've been meaning to do Brand Nubian. I know there's a song on my list called Slow Down that's um, uh, popular by them. Uh, and I said, I I'll, I'll get to that soon. And so here we are, like a week later. Um, <clears throat> I don't know anything about Brand Nubian, um, so I'm going to read a little bio, you know, just so I can have some context about who they are. Um, and then we'll get into the reaction. Um, Grand Puba was born Maxwell Dixon in 1966 in New Rochelle, New York. He was raised in the Hartley homes, well, Hartley houses, and his parents had ties to the black nationalist movement of the 60s and 70s. New Rochelle was just outside of the Bronx, but it had its own budding hip hop scene. Maxwell was inspired by the Cold Crush Brothers and by age 13, he was already a popular DJ and MC in the neighborhood. At age 18, he formed a group called Masters of Ceremony with his cousin Dr. Who and DJ Shabazz. Adopting the name Grand Puba, Masters of Ceremony released an album called Dynamite in 1988 with a popular party song called Sexy. The album received some critical, critical acclaim but the band disbanded due to low sales. Meanwhile, in the Bronx, Lorenzo Deschalis, AKA, AKA Lord Jamar, was also a popular DJ by age 12. Raised as a Jehovah's Witness, Jamar became interested in the teachings of the 5% nation. Jamar moved with his family to New Rochelle when he was 11. He thought that New Rochelle would be light on hip-hop talent, but he was surprised to see a thriving community that re revolved around hometown hero Grand Puba. Jamar formed a group called KD and the Ever-Loving Three. Jamar says, quote, KD stands for Kid Disco. That's right. Go ahead and laugh. But that was a fly name back then, okay? <laughs> uh, this is still him. At some point, it felt like the DJ, me, got kicked to the back, and my egotisticalness at the time said, Oh, fuck that. You're not going to put baby in the corner. Unquote. So he set out to become an MC. In high school, Jamar joined in neighborhood ciphers held at the library where aspiring rappers perfected their craft. Even though they lived on opposite sides of, the, of town, Jamar became friendly with an MC called Derek Murphy, who had also come to New Rochelle from the Bronx. Derek was in a group called The Chosen Few, who recorded a song in 1987 called The Raw. He went by the name Kid Paradise, but later known as Derek X and then Sadat X after former, former Egyptian president Anwar Sadat, who was assassinated assassinated in 1981. Puba sometimes went to the library and he was impressed with Jamar and Sadat. He took them under his wing and into the studio where he showed them how to write songs, count bars and such. Initially, Puba was recording Jamar and Sadat as solo artists, hoping to make some demos to shop around. Puba himself was being courted by Dante Ross of Tommy Boy, but soon to be uh, soon to join Electro Records, 
who had been impressed with masters of ceremony. Pubal says, quote, I brought Sadat and Jamar's stuff to Dante. He was like, yeah, they cool, but I still want to sign just you. So I thought if we just did joints together and incorporated them with me, then I knew they would get on and get a deal, unquote. That sounds like a nice guy. So all three MCs met up at Jazzy J's studio in the Bronx, where Jay made a James Brown beat called I Ain't Going Out Like That. They recorded a demo for Dante, who signed them to Electra Records. They chose the name brand Nubian because they were Nubian, which to them meant black, and brand because as African Americans, this was their brand of music. Jamar also liked the inference that their music was brand new. Sadat's childhood friend DJ Alamo joined the group, and the first song that they recorded and released after being signed was 1989's Brand Nubian, followed quickly by Feels So Good. After that, they started to work on their debut album called One For All, which was released in 90. Most reviews were glowing, but the stronger rhetoric on the album, especially the track Drop the Bomb, drew fire from some quarters, including some white Electra employees reluctant to promote what they saw as reverse racism. Ultimately, the uproar didn't really hurt Brand Nubian's career, but neither did it produce a wider hit with pop and R&B audiences, despite the high regard in which the singles All For One, Slow Down, and Wake Up are held. Slow Down was the last song recorded for the album and reached number three on the Hot Rap Singles chart. It was written and produced by Grand Puba and Grand Nubian. All right. That was informative. Okay. Time to slow down. Plastic. 
stick And if you swing the act, you better wear a prophylactic Cause things are getting drastic Slide up in the wrong when you're in the bender casket Sister, there's no need in speeding She was doing ways before she started bleeding What makes a bitch wanna act in this fashion? Pulled more stunts than my man Action Jackson A real gold winner just like Bruce Jenner Laid a bitch on the bed and then you run right in her Hoover makes no mistakes She said rock me tonight You little hooker, honey got a problem with the bins. Meaning she likes to bend over and then she spreads the skin. The hoe was just a hoe and that's without the controversy. She can make the bed spring, sing the song of mercy. Come on, touch, you can take a thousand just Scrub that ass and I still pass. You live in fast. Now see, it ain't no reason for you to be out here skeezing, cause it's not the season. So if you wanna live foul and be a dumb dude, a dumb dumb bitch, well go ahead. You're living foul. Now I'd like to give a special shout to my DJ Alamo who wanna help out. Um, well, that was a fun song. It was a depressing lyrics, but it was a fun song. It took me a minute to um, realize what the sample was. Um, Edie Brickell and the New Bohemians. Um, I am what I am, or I don't know, even know what the name of the song is called. Um, but I was thinking that guitar sounds familiar, but I couldn't place it until I guess they actually sampled her voice saying, you know, what I am is what I am. Um, never really a big fan of that song when it was popular, but, um, uh, you know, uh, it's a nice sample as long as I don't have to listen <laughs> to the rest of it. Um, the slow down part, it, I'm assuming that sample too, it didn't say anything about a female being part of this song. So I guess the slow down part is also a sample. Let me know what that, if it is, and if it is. What is it? <laughs> um, you know, I liked all three of the MCs. They all had something different that I liked. Um, and that, that's what I enjoy with the group. Um, I was complaining uh, a couple of weeks ago that everyone in Onyx sounded the same. Um, but uh, these guys had their own individual flows and voices. So, um, you know, I could tell they were individual people. I wouldn't have known who it was, of course, without the, the video letting me know. Um, but um, if I had to pick, I'd say in this song, Lord Jamar was my favorite. He, um, he just had a more, I don't know, conversational way mm -hmm. of, of doing his um, verses. Um, the song itself, the slow down part is, I guess, you know, the song is about these three women and there's three different women that um, each uh, MC has a verse about. Um, and I guess the overall theme is, you know, you, you women are, you know, going down the wrong path. So just slow down, um, you know, take a minute to realize where you've gone wrong. And, you know, um, change your ways. Uh, the first verse was um, um, uh, uh, a woman who used to be really pretty, but now she's a crackhead. And the second one was um, a, a prostitute who was, um, you know, like uh, stealing from him. And um, 
that that wasn't going to work for him. And then the last one, I guess, I, th I thought they were both about prostitutes, but I guess verse two is about a prostitute. Verse three is about just um, uh, a, a girl who is um, promiscuous, as opposed to getting paid for it. Um, but um, you know, all in all, a fun song. It'll be fun to play in the car, even though you know there's sad parts in the verses. Um, but you know, I can get over that if it's a uh, if it's got a you know a fun beat. Um, well, uh, I did enjoy it, um, and it's going in my car. So uh, thanks for hanging with me, guys. If you like this kind of content, give me a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.